Good Sunday to you guys. I am going to attempt to video the third and hopefully final layer. It will all depend on whether or not I get my piles of sand covered with this layer of resin. <coughs> Excuse me. So my last video, I don't know what happened, but my sound did not come through, so I overplayed music on it. This one, I have all of my um, resins all mixed up and ready to go. And this up here, I'm not really happy with. With uh, I was just mixing all the different colors to try to get my second layer covered so it would be level. And I'm going to be putting more uh, blue colors in there. So I'm just going to get started and hopefully... Um, I'm going to build depth into this uh, painting. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, work in the clear resin across in places because <clears throat> I'm not going to fill in color everywhere. So I just want to put enough clear down to where all of it will blend nicely. I need another pair of gloves. Forgot to get that, so I'll get that real fast. It's a good thing you didn't see or hear the last video because I went for some more mica powders and tripped myself right over everything. So it wasn't a very good um, sound to hear anyway. Somebody must have been watching over me. another pair of gloves because I'm going to uh, spread this out with my fingers hopefully a little bit doesn't have to go all over but I would like it to be a generous amount on there it's kind of chilly here today so got the fans going and uh, also a heater with the window cracked so everything pushes its way out which is a good thing just gonna get some clear up there so all my other colors will move playing with resin is uh, a very uh, creative process for me. Some people um, they do their alcohol paints or they do acrylic pours uh, and then they cover it with a clear coat of resin. All of my work uh, I try to do in layers and and different areas have different colors of tinted resin to help make the depth come through. The 3D effect. Right, this one's going to be pretty easy because I have most of my um, layering and uh, effects in the second layer here, this layer here. I'm just going to be changing it out a little bit. It never ends up quite the way I think when I start it because resin and alcohol inks and mica powders they they just move in in such an amazing uh, fashion so let me get my other glove on there and I will start just pouring out the colors trying to uh, mimic the ocean hopefully So this is how much um, resin I put in here and just a little bit, just the end of this stick had the mica powders on it. I wanted to leave one to stir so you guys could uh, see like the ratio. It doesn't take a whole lot of mica powders or alcohol inks for that matter. I'm going to work this across here. Because I really had a rough time 
with those colors up there. I wish I didn't, but I did. So, you'll still be able to see them through on a few places, but not everywhere. Not everywhere. I will leave a little bit of the golds and different colors in there because I will put a little bit of white up there for some white caps in the lines. So I'm going to work on rounding out my wave in different areas. Mixing it in and causing depth to take place. This is, if I didn't mention it at the beginning, it is the top of a wine cart. I did two because the bottom piece of this particular wine cart had a piece of wood on it too. So let me see if I can find that and I'll show it to you. This is the bottom piece. So, kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. And I think it will be very pretty uh, once all of the pieces come together. I'm going to try to drag a little bit of the sand up in to the wave. Just a little bit. Gonna play with it. Make it look like the sand is being swept out into the wave. It's all done with um, popsicle sticks, resin, and a little bit of airbrush and torch. I love doing it. Do a few funky little lines in the beach to follow some of the wave action there. I'm going to try to wipe this one off here. Got it on the white. I didn't necessarily want it there, so. Just keep working all of that. Watch it move out. Just lifting it up and bringing it forward with the different colors again. This one is um, white gold. So it will come in underneath the sand that I just put on. The, uh, sand dune colors to blend a little bit and to help build depth. You're probably going to hear that word a lot from me because that's that's what this layer is attempting to do is to raise the, the painting up off of the canvas. Hopefully. Hopefully just a little bit. Raise it up a little bit more. Put some of the white gold back up in here. There we go. Make sure my horizon and all my lines are good and horizontal there. Put 
to soak up in there just a bit. This is a nice um, blue from Baltic. What is that? Baltic Day Pure Soul. I kind of like this blue here. It raises uh, up the painting with a little bit of metallic. Really kind of cool. So, just gonna bring all the water in up onto the beach. Just keep raising it up. Then I have uh, these two alcohol inks. One is from Bria Reese and the other one is from um, Jacquard Pinata that are translucent that I will add a little bit more depth into it. It will make everything underneath it appear deeper. Still being able to see because it is a nice translucent color. So you just keep working, 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 working till you get exactly what you want, what you're looking for. That was the blue from the Jacquard, and this is. A teal green from Bria Reese. So it'll just add a little bit more depth in it. You can see it separating the, the resin that has the mica powders in it. So it just brings it to life. That would be my dogs. We obviously heard something outside. Just bring it all just a little bit closer to the shore break. Makes it turn out really pretty, I think. haven't really seen anybody else do um, resin this way, like actually painting a picture within it. I've seen a lot of people do the pours and uh, maneuver with a heat gun or blow dryers or such as that, but I've never seen anybody else do this. And it's like so fun to me. Just to watch how it all moves and becomes like a wave. It's amazing for me, actually. You can see all the depth coming out in it. So 
once I get all the colors that I want coming across, I will put my white on for my caps again. I'm going to have a little bit of, oops, I just spilled it. Didn't mean to do that. I will have some left over, so I'm going to get um, a couple molds real quick. And pour them in to make my bases for my resin Christmas ornaments. I made this year for the first time resin Christmas ornaments and sold quite a few. I was um, surprised, actually. I was a little surprised. But that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of gold in the wave here. I will come back with my white and kind of go over it so it will be quite a bit of texture in it. I just got a straight line across where I didn't want my directional to go so you just blend it in. Just blend it in. So I have clear with the glitter in it. It calls just that much more depth coming into the painting. It is iridescent um, glitter uh, that I got from Walmart, like very reasonably priced. Just going to let it glisten up onto the beach. drop little drops maybe try to make it look like water drops a little bit up in there it will end up <coughs> excuse me um, sparkling nicely all right, so there's all of those that I think I have enough. Uh, got a few spaces that are still not completely covered. I can see little dimples. So we'll make those, we'll fix those up with uh, clear. Just to make sure everything is filled in before we go putting the the white on because once you put the white on you kind of want to be done kind of want to be done put a little bit more blue up here Just a little bit. this up in here this is a mica powder one so it has um, 
opaqueness to it. Just got to think about where you want things to be in your wave, within your wave. And then you start bouncing it around and it ends up being just perfect. I'm going to torch this. Just make sure I have all my spaces covered. Got a few little dings here and yonder. That I don't particularly want. Torch. Also use hand sanitizer to clean off my gloves really quick so I don't have to keep changing them out all the time. So let's see if we can't torch some of these bubbles out. Remember I have my fans behind me and also on the floor pushing the air. I don't always wear um, a mask, and I know some people are gonna like be frustrated about that. There are no fumes in the super clear. I smell more when I do fingernail polish and oh spray paint than I do doing this resin. But I know that people. <clears throat> think about it and it's good to think about if you are allergic to anything and smells or anything like that like if you're allergic to chemicals cleaning chemicals like Lysol and all that stuff um, it's probably a good thing to wear a respirator I wear a respirator when I'm cleaning up all of my edges because I am actually torching it to melting point and then sanding so absolutely wear a respirator at that point but as long as my rim is well ventilated and I have the air moving around I'm okay with it it's my choice to do it how I do it. I'm not telling you that's that how I do it is how you should do it. By all means, I think you should be safe. Still have a spot there that doesn't want to rise up. So we're gonna try to blend that in. Sure, it's running off the sides pretty good and then I'm going to do my white and my white is casting craft white if you can see that I'll bring it up or going the wrong direction sorry that's casting craft and I put that inside the resin 10 to 1 ratio and then you just start laying it where you think you want it to be. It does take a little bit of finesse. I've done waves for a little while, so uh, I really kind of like playing with them. You 
and how I think they're going to like, end up how the how the spray goes and just like playing with it. I'm gonna bring this one way down. This is what I don't like about what I do. I drop some right in there and I hate it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit and then we'll uh, heat it up and use the airbrush to maneuver it a bit. Set it up really nice and pretty. Bring this one way down. Bring this one down just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring some up. I keep dropping it. Bring the white up just a little bit to show a little bit of foam in within the sand portions. And just keep working it. I get it just how I want it. Said you just have to think about it a little bit. Alright, there's that. Bring my hands off again. We'll heat it up and torch it. I mean, blow it with the airbrush. We'll torch it. <laughs> I'm gonna torch it. like I might have a never-ending hole right here. It just keeps um, spreading out and not wanting to grab hold there. And I really wanted to grab hold. See how that works out. Try that torching bit there one more time. Use my airbrush 
and move it. Blow it enough there, and then we're going to go right back in with my remainder of my clear and just drop in places to have the water underneath the foam. Gonna call this one, I think, almost done. I need a little, I wanna do a couple of white caps up here. Just a couple. Maybe a short one here. First and then back down. To cause the movement of the wave going across. a little bit more white to it. Oops. Drop my airbrush. I'm going to be okay with all of that. Torch it and then I'm going to call it hopefully done. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm going to call it done. I see another little place here that just is seeing the foam float upward just a little bit more. guys think 
about my painting, of course. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to bring it down and try to show it to you a little up close. Hoping to get all of my little dings out of it before it sets up all the way. If it has dings in it, when I get finished, I will put another coat, a clear coat on to finish it out. Alright, guys, um, I'm going to bring my camera down. just lost my uh, back side of my air gun there. Didn't want to run that. Alright. So it might not be totally um, done, but I think I'm liking it pretty good. So I've got several lights on so I can see, but I'm going to bring you in, hopefully, to the wave and let you see how all of that, how all of that um, comes across. I think it's pretty. The little waves up there look okay. And coming into the beach sand. I think it's pretty. Alright guys, this is my joy. I hope you guys have a wonderful blessed day, and I'm just going to say peace out to you.